Hello, my name is Leanne McGlynn with McGlynn Institute Neonatal. In today's procedural skill presentation, we'll discuss drill interosseous placement. Vascular access in the neonatal population can be very difficult. This is compounded when emergency IV access is required. Interosseous or IO placement in neonates is rare, but can be life-saving in cases of fluid resuscitation with hypovolemia or cardiac resuscitations. Now, one might avoid IO placements when there is previous bone fractures, fluid extravasation, or tissue infections at the site. In addition, interosseous placement should be avoided in patients with osteogenesis imperfecta or diseases of the bone marrow. There are several types of interosseous placement, but today we are going to focus on drill placement of an interosseous needle. Which drill that is available is site dependent. The one seen here is the Easy IO. The brand featured today is the Medicos brand. The choice of drill is simply institution dependent. What makes these drills special is the end of the drill tip. It is an hexagonal head with a magnetic tip. This tip magnetically connects to the drill to keep it on the end. Once you've decided to place your I.O., you'll need to gather your equipment and supplies. This will include gloves, saline for flush, your drill, your needle set, as well as cleanser per unit protocol, and a three-way stopcock. Two-by-two gauze is also helpful as well. The needle driver set typically used for neonates is the pink 15 millimeter 18 gauge needle as seen here. Although there are several pediatric sites, we are going to focus today on the proximal tibia. After gathering your equipment and supplies, choosing your needle size, and deciding on the location of the IO insertion, you'll need to position your patient in a supine position and place a towel roll under the leg. Never place your hand or the hand of your assistant under the leg to avoid accidental puncture. Once the towel's in place, have your assistant stabilized with counter pressure on both the knee and the foot and then cleanse the site with antiseptic per unit policy with products such as chloroprep, betadine, or alcohol. If non-emergent and time permits, infiltrate the area with lidocaine. Now use your sterile gauze to mark your landmark one to two centimeters below the superior portion of the medial aspect of the tibial tuberosity. With needle attached to the drill, Hold on your landmark at a 90 degree angle. Gently squeeze the trigger on the drill until a change in resistance is felt. At this point, stop, unscrew the top, and check that your IO is firmly in place. Next, you'll attach your T-site firmly to the hub and withdraw to check for blood return. At this point, you can now flush with the three to five mLs of saline. Once placement is confirmed, You'll want to secure your site. You can now add IV fluids and treat the IO like you would a central line. You can also consider an x-ray to evaluate for fracture and needle position. You'll want to monitor for extravasation. And remember, IOs are not meant for long term and should re be removed as soon as an IV access is obtained. As with any procedure, there can be complications. You may have an obstruction where you're not able to flush the I.O. or that it's not in the cortex, whether it be too shallow or too deep. In addition, there can be fractures of bone, complete penetration of the bone, osteomyelitis, subcutaneous abscess, cellulitis, sepsis, extravasation of fluid, infiltration, or hematomas. Yet, interosseous placement can be life-saving for neonates during resuscitation. Now it's your turn for interosseous placement in a neonate. 
please let us know how this video helped you in your actual practice. Looking for a comprehensive NRP course, procedural skills courses, or simulation-based training? If so, we've got you covered here at McGlynn Institute Neonatal, where we help healthcare providers protect the lives of tiny humans. Just call or text at 704-728-4961 or email Dr. McGlynn at drmcglynn at mcglynninstitute.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.